Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and today we're going to learn how to do some general maintenance on your paintball markers. Okay, so we've got in front of us right now a uh, an Axe 2.0, and what I have is the Redline upgrade board for it. Um, the Redline upgrade board, if you look in the manual for it, it says installation for a Mini GS, uh, but figuring that the Mini GS and the Axe 2.0 did I say we had an X Pro or an X 2.0? I don't remember. I might have said that this is an X Pro. It's not. It's an X 2.0. But the X 2.0 uh, and the Mini GS, they share the same kind of front grip board setup in there. So if the red line fits the Mini GS, like it says in the instruction manual, which we know it does, then it should fit in the X 2.0. So rather than install it into a gun that we know it fits into, we're going to put it into the 2.0. And I can't see any reason that it wouldn't work. So, but we will find out together. So let's open this up and see what we're gonna get. So we've got our grip cover um, replacement. So the back grip panel right here that has the button and the light up there. Uh, this is the replacement for it. So instead of it being a rubberized version like this one is, this is an aluminum version right there. And then we also have the board. And this board is the has the screen on it right there so that we can have a screen interface. So I've already got the, the screws out of that just to speed the process up a little bit. So we're going to take the majority of the screws, really all the screws out of this, and then we're going to separate the frame out as well. So let's take the frame first. You do need to pull the frame off to put the board in. Don't try to do it without taking the frame apart. It's not going to end up pretty for you. It's a very simple takedown though, so take that extra 30 seconds and pull the frame screws out. Then we can separate our... Uh, oh, no, one more. I always forget about this one. This front screw. Now we can separate these. I kind of walk it back and forth. I wiggle it up and down until I get it to come out. And then that comes right off. Set that over there. <coughs> All right. So let's take this front grip off. We've got uh, really five screws that hold the whole thing together. You've got two at the top right here. You've got two in the bottom that come in from the front. And then the one on the back side actually holds the board in place. But it, since the board is part of the, the grip, it in essence does the same thing. You would not be able to take the four screws off and leave that one for the uh, board in there and still get everything out. Come back here. Should be able to just take that right off, just like that. At this point, we can push out the um, the rubber grip. We just remove this screw, and the grip should pop right out. Right there. All right, so we're not going to need this anymore, but we will need that screw still. So here we've got our window and our board. So the window, this one I've pulled out of the box actually has a piece of tape on the back side here. The, the housing unit that holds the clear plexi piece is not attached to the actual unit here. So it's able to kind of move around and they're taping this in there I would assume so that it doesn't get lost in shipping. So you would want to move or remove this piece of tape holding this bit together. Right there and there. So here's our clear window right there. And this is the piece that holds the window in place. 
and our piece of tape. So I'm going to stick that there. The window actually fits into a little cutout that is in this piece, like so. So it'll sit in that little piece right there. And there's a little tab at the front that will actually fit underneath the, um, the uh, a tab right here. So it kind of goes in and then drops down into place. And then it will fold down. But you want to make sure that your window doesn't move out of position. It's actually kind of slid a little bit, the plexi window. There we go. Now it's holding it properly in place. And they probably do this or use this bit of tape so that this doesn't then fold open when you're going to try to put it in the gun and then fall out. Because if you just stick this in right here, we drop this piece in and fit it like it does. And then we move this in any kind of direction that is going to be towards the ground, this window will fall right out. Because nothing's actually holding it in place at this moment right now uh, until we put the screw in. So let's do that. Get that in there. Now we're good. We don't need this little bit of tape. But in the box, I can see why they put that piece of tape in there just to be, just to be safe. So now we're going to put the board into the grip frame. And there's something very important when these two pieces come together that I will try not to forget to mention to you. I hope I don't, because it is possibly you can ruin the board, but we just want to be safe. So we'll move our old board out. You can see that our uh, wire connector is down there. So we're going to get that out of there. And then our old board, we'll put it to the side. These are old uh, shockwave boards, or not old. This is the current shockwave board, but um, <coughs> we're not going to use it anymore. You can see the setup is a little different on the bottom. The battery connection is on the other side. Uh, they don't need this jumper box anymore. And then on the flip side, you've got your screen rather than your button right there. And no more light. Put that off to the side. Plug in the board. Make sure that the connector does go all the way down. And then tuck our wires back in. Make sure that they're not pinched. And go ahead and slide our board in. All right. Looks good. Everything's in there how it should be. We're relatively level right now. This one wants to push up from the side, and that's just because of the uh, the way the wiring is sitting on the inside right now. Try to get that out of the way a little bit more. Conducive to fitting that wire harness on the other side now. There we go. So when we go to put these two together, marry these two pieces, this right here, this is our joystick for the control. It's controlled through this a directional button on the back right here. If this piece does not fit properly into the hole that's down here, you could crush that and then you would have a problem. So we want to make sure that that goes in and actually sits inside the, the hole that it's meant to go into properly. Once we've thought we've put it in right, we can check it. I can feel it going left, right, down, up. It pushes. It's not constantly holding the button down right now. So I know that it's in, in the right spot inside there. Uh, if it doesn't feel right on the inside, you don't feel the toggle up and down, left and right, pull it all out and then redo it again. Let's put our screws in. The top two up here are countersunk. If you forget which screws go where, bottom two are socket style that go in through the bottom here and they use a different key once these bottom screws go in I'm going to check my button again make sure it's where you hear a little chirp it was still storing some energy in there it was trying put the back board screw in, so the one that goes through this side. And this is a button head screw. <coughs> I 
And then we're not going to put this one in because this one needs to actually go through the front of this section as well. So we'll leave that one out. We'll put our battery in. And then we're going to power on and make sure that it actually works. So it's on. That's great. Uh, it's reading a ball in the breech. Obviously, it's not going to be able to read anything because it's not connected to the breech sensor. But I can turn the eyes off. I can start the game timer, reset the game timer, and then I can scroll through all the menu options on there as well. We're going to exit out. Let's actually turn it off. And put it together. I'm going to make sure that it actually activates the solenoid still. <coughs> now with any gun, any uh, setup like this, the Mini, the Axe, the Mini GS, the Axe Pro, the Axe 2.0, you have to be very careful um, to line the ports and the prongs up properly. So in our board we've got eight pins that stick up from the top right here. And on the body of the gun we've got a port that has eight holes on it. Now I have seen all of the versions of the gun doesn't matter, it's not more one than the other, or sometimes you go to slide these two together and these pins don't properly line up with the block that is up inside of here. You'll get, um, on the block, you'll get the, the back row of prongs. They won't go into the back row holes, they'll go into the front row holes, 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 and then this front row of prongs actually goes outside the whole socket and fits up in here and doesn't attach to anything. Um, a couple things will happen if that if that does that. A, the gun won't work. Sometimes it won't even turn on. Sometimes it does turn on and this front grip gets incredibly hot up here. If you feel that happening, it could be because you don't have your pins lined up. Um, or instead of having it lined up improperly front to back, you've actually got it off center left to right. So the two left pins or the two right pins don't go in the holes, they go outside and then the other six go into the next set over. So it's possible to get them in all sorts of screwy configurations. So as we slide this up and it's coming towards the top here, I never just push it together and, and assume that it did what it was supposed to do. I get it to like this point right there where I'm, I can still see inside of it and see where the, the pins are going. And I watch to make sure that the left pins are going in the left, that the right pins are going in the right, and then push it down. You should do that with any version, not just the X 2.0 like we have here, but any version of these style guns. Mini, the uh, X, X Pro, Mini GS, and the 2.0, just to be safe. All right, so we've got the two frame screws in, and then I leave this one for last because it helps to tighten these two down and bring the frame all the way up so that this hole lines up properly all the way through. And I can take this one and put it in there. So we're all set up now. Everything's good on the back. I don't need to put this on right away. I can still check it. So that comes on like it does right there. You can see that it is not reading a ball in the breech right now. If I put my finger in, it does. So we know that the eye and the, the eye board and the front board are reading properly. They're communicating. Now we're going to shut the eye system off. So now the eyes are off and it should click. All right, so we're installed, we're good, it's working. Uh, so. I knew it would work from the beginning just because I know the grip setup, but uh, this Redline grip, Mini GS, you can put it in there, the Axe 2.0, you can put it in there, so you can take your 2.0 and kind of turn it into an Axe Pro uh, just with the upgrade of the, the Redline grip. So there you have it, Redline grip in a, in a GS or a uh, Axe 2.0.
Well guys, I hope this helps you out with any questions or concerns you have about your paintball gear or products. And as always, for all your paintball needs, shop ansgear.com.